Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela 333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few mentions in the description box. If you'd like to enter my personal reading giveaway, details are below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, you'll find it there as well. And lastly, I have started uh, posting to my Meditation Relax Calm channel again if you'd like to check that out. So with that, Aquarius, and let's see what the energy is here for you. What does Spirit want Aquarius to know? Okay, so we've got Temptation. Capricorn energy, we have the five of earth, and we have the nine of water. We have the star card, your energy. We have the hierophant. And we have, interesting, two nines, the nine of air here, okay seven of fire. Okay, what I'm really picking up overall in general here, I feel like um, that you are about to close out a cycle here in your life, okay? I feel like there has been something that you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for, but I feel like you haven't found either a lot of support or it's been lacking and your higher self, I feel, is telling you this, Aquarius, okay? And I feel like, too, with that temptation card, this may be something that has been very hard to let go of in your life. And it can be a lot of different things. You know, temptation can be addictions. It can be codependency. It can be, you know, an unhealthy habit that you have been doing for quite some time. And I feel like your higher self is telling you you're not getting really a whole lot of out, out of what this unhealthy uh, situation is for you, okay? You have the Nine of Water here and you have the Nine of Swords. So I really get an energy here of um, it's a situation that I feel is kind of making you, is, is making you stuck. And I feel like you're not getting as much from it as what you had hoped for, okay? But the good news is here, I see with the seven of uh, wands here, I feel like you're gonna be able to overcome this, whatever it is, whatever this obstacle or challenge that you were going through, you have the ace of swords. So I do, I do see some sort of breakthrough and change here, and you have the nine of earth. So I feel like you're going to find your footing. I feel um, you're going to find uh, some sort of stability here. It's almost like you get that epiphany or clarity about your situation to make the change, the breakthrough that I'm seeing here. I'm going to pull a few more cards from this deck, and then I'm going to pull some more tarot cards from another deck. What else can you share with Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? All right, so we got the tower. Yeah, like I said, something isn't working here. There's not a strong foundation, but let's see what else comes out. Yeah, it's keeping you in limbo is what I'm seeing. But I, but let me pull one more card because I have another thought about that. Yeah, the king of water. And bottom of the deck here, we have the two of swords. So it's definitely showing me there's some sort of imbalanced situation that you've been dealing with, Aquarius. I feel like... Um, you know, it may be also to the emotions of this situation is what's keeping you in limbo, all right? I feel like your higher self is trying to tell you that this situation is lacking, which is leading you here to a decision, okay? Going back and forth here, weighing your options. You do have upcoming here, you look at that, the Ace of Cups. I almost hear here, right, the world is your oyster. And I feel if you can make a decision here in this in the situation, um, I feel like that's when you're going to see the big change. When That's when you're going to get that big shiny Pearl. So that could be around, right, feeling more happy, feeling more fulfilled, because it's almost like an energy I feel with this temptation card, too. It's an energy I feel it's been weighing you down. And some of you, I feel like this is a karmic spiritual lesson that you are going through, something that happened in your life, and it may be a repeating pattern. And I feel like Spirit is saying, now is the time for change, because I feel like once you make this decision, um, I love this card, the transformation card in this deck, because it's like, it's almost like poof, 
you know, things magically transform in your life. And as I said, you have the Ace of Cups here. So some of you, right, this could end indicate some sort of opportunity coming your way, something that is very fulfilling. Um, a, some of you, it can be a love opportunity as well. But um, I feel there's a need here, right, to deal with this unbalanced situation or make a decision. So let's pull some more cards. I'm going to use a different deck here. We're going to see what else uh, does Aquarius need to know. What else does Aquarius need to know? Okay, look at that. Ace of Wands. Yeah, the universe, I feel, is definitely trying to tell you something here, right? Spirit, the universe, whatever you believe in here. You got, look at that. The Hierophant showed up again. And we have the Three of Wands. Yeah, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, I feel Aquarius, they're telling you that there is a opportunity that is coming towards you. But I feel like you have to deal with this unbalanced situation first. Uh, the Queen of Cups here. Let's see what's below that. And we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah. What's keeping you stuck is the emotions of your situation. And that could be what's keeping you caught up in your head. So I feel, Aquarius, there's a need for you to detach emotionally. I do feel like there is something really nice coming in for you. You have the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, and you have the Three of Wands. Okay, some of you, this could be actually a new relationship coming in. For some of you, this could be a creative idea that you get. I'm, I'm feeling like an epiphany energy here too with that tower. Uh, the tower happens when something is not working or there's not a solid foundation. And so it, I feel spirit is also saying here there's a need for also ideas, creativity. Um, also, you know, taking action here in your situation you're the manifester you're the the innovator right of your life here you also have a number three here with the three of wands and threes are about doing what you love being creative the birth of new ideas all right and also being extroverted okay so there may be something in your life right now that is needing to change um, that it feels like it's imbalanced here. I feel like too with the three of wands, the right doors, the right opportunities are going to open up for you once you make a decision to make this change in your life. So I'm just going to pull um, a couple more cards, see what else comes out for you, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups. So I feel like there's something here that disappointed you, something you're feeling at a loss about. And that's what's making it hard for you, I feel, to make some sort of decision. Yeah, it's interesting because you got the Page of Pentacles. In this deck, you know, I, I always say with this deck, this person's looking at this one pentacle. So it could be you're contemplating something. Maybe there's something here you want to change. But I also feel it, it's kind of like I always get with this card, you know, there's just this one pentacle. That's all I get. And I feel like you're not seeing what you hope for here, what you wish for here, and that's the disappointment. But look at this. You have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. It's all about to change. And so with the wheel, we can't always control what happens in our life. But the uh, with the wheel, it gets rid of the things that aren't good for us or aren't healthy for us, right? And that's part of that temptation energy. So I feel uh, Aquarius, right? A part of this is, you know, you making that decision. You also have here the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, and you also have the Three of Cups. And I feel like once you make that decision here, that's when you're going to see the movement. That's when you're going to see the change. And that's when I feel here you're going to feel more excited and happy. And, there, and there'll be something here to celebrate here. Some of you too, I feel like um, this change in your life uh, may, I'm hearing like make you be, like make you want to go out more, make you want to do things, make you want to celebrate life more. Um, 
because it definitely feels like this is an energy of something that didn't quite work out the way that you wanted and there's a feeling of lack so let's see what the oracle of the fairies have to say okay look at that transformation the fairy tells you to surrender to transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace the transformation. The best is yet to come. And yes, I really feel that. And that's again too with that tower. Something didn't work out or something, you know, never really got to where you wanted it to be because it wasn't working. And spirit wants you to see that this change will really be good for you. Let's see what else we have. We have journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Okay, some of you could be doing some sort of travel, but I also feel like this is part of your spiritual journey, your, destin uh, your destiny in your situation. And bottom of the deck here, we have life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Really nice energy here. So confronting, I feel here, confronting the issue here, right? Leaving behind the darkness and walking away from anything that is not bringing happiness or value into your life is what I'm seeing here. All right, Aquarius, let's uh, pull a angel message here for you. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so you have Archangel Raphael. Raphael helps you heal in mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so I feel like through this transformation, you're also going through a healing. And bottom of the deck here, you have beautiful souls. You inspire and uplift others okay so on a separate note that may be a gift that you have uh, Aquarius that you can share with the world so Aquarius I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love